Anyway, before we get into this video, um, I don't often say it, but every so often I've got to remind people, if you like the videos, hit the like button. If you enjoy the content, consider subscribing. And if you want to help the channel, then consider being a Patreon. Um, I'll leave a link in the description. There's also a link uh, in the corner there, little on the main page, little orange button you can press, and that'll tell you all about it. Um, and there's also extra content that comes onto the Patreon. And there's also going to be some secret stuff coming. I say secret stuff. Secret fishing. The sort of stuff you don't tell anybody, as in it's top secret. You know, it's, it, we all tell people how we fish. Some people don't want to tell anybody anything. I tell you lots about how I fish, what I use, the rest of it. But there are one or two things which I do keep quiet. Now, I'll be putting up little pieces of that over the months. I won't just put it all in one go. Um, so that will come up, little tips and tricks, or very good, useful tips and tricks, which have always worked for me, and catch plenty of fish, so there's that. But anyway, we are going to be covering lures um, this week, so I'm going to be going over some of these lures that I use, because of, I, one of the most asked questions I get is, what lure am I using? I and mean, for obvious reasons, they see me catch some fish, oh, what lure is that? I want to get that lure because I want to catch fish. That's fair enough. But the thing is, I use lots of different lures, so like, I mean, one day I'll go out and I'll give you an example. This lure here, one like this, last year I caught hundreds of fish on this. I mean, this lure could do no wrong. And it was, it was fast becoming one of the best lures I've ever used. And it still works, but this year it's caught two fish. Last year it probably had 200. So, like I say, things change. You've got, to, you've got to use the right lure at the right time. So anyway, we're covering lures, what lures I use and that. But obviously some of my absolute top picks, my favourite, they're going to be on the Patreon account. Because, you know, I can't give away too much. Because if I do, you'll all be out around there fishing around me. And I won't be catching anything anymore. So we've got to keep some things a little bit quieter. Um, but like I say, lures can vary from sort of what you see there, that one, to things like that. These are some of my favourite lures, but you don't often see me use these. At the moment, it's because the bass have been so small, there's no point in using a lure like that. When the bass are bigger, then we put lures on like that. I'll show you another quick trick here as well. Modern lures, they're plastic, most of them. don't like them, prefer the wooden ones. I say I don't like them, plastic's alright, but I prefer the wooden ones, and in this day and age, should we be using plastic lures anyway, when we can use wood lures. So I prefer my wooden ones, but there's these. Now... When they brought out the plastic ones, they put like patterns inside the plastic. They also painted patterns outside the plastic. Now they've gone as far as putting transfers on, and I hate transfers. Because the transfers, the hooks rub around like that, and they basically tear off the transfer or wear out the transfer. Then you're just left with a block of plastic which you're going to have to paint or something. Well, if you want to extend the life of these lures, get yourself a can of lacquer. A can of auto lacquer will do the trick. And give them two or three coats of lacquer. Um, preferably do that like in the winter so you've had a couple of months before you use it because th the longer lacquer is left the harder it gets. When it's fresh lacquer you can polish it off quite easy. Once it gets old like a few years now it's it's a real pig to get off of things. I know I used to work in uh, copper, silver, brass that kind of thing. We used to lacquer a lot of things. In fact the best way to actually lacquer something even like that would be to dip it. But you've got to dip it, pull it out, hang it, make sure it drips off say the nose or the tail and um, don't do it in damp conditions and don't do it too late in the day because again you'll get damp which will make your lacquer go white it'll bloom um, if you do see that happening when you've actually just done it and you're watching it dry and you see it blooming get the hairdryer on it and blast it with a hairdryer and that'll uh, not too close obviously but that hot air will take away that white and it'll dry clear again so there you go first tip of lures well, now the weather has broken down, and I mean it broke down back in September, which is, it came in early, that's for sure. We are going to be finishing with the boat. The boat will be coming up, and we may get out still in the dinghy for a few trips. We will see. I've been saying this for the last few weeks in my head. We will, might get it, we'll get out and do some fishing, and the weather just isn't giving up. It's just horrible. I mean, not just horrible, it's blowing a gale all the time. I can't even get off the beach. The problem with that as well is the shore fishing because I can't get off the rocks because going off the rocks is quite dicey. When the water's cloudy you don't catch a huge amount of fish here and 
if you go off the beach, your line is just getting full of weed all the time because all the weed that comes in, you know, after the summer growth. So hopefully we will get out and do some shore fishing, that's the main aim. Then we've got the foraging, as in going for ormers, going for lobsters, this kind of thing we'll be doing in the winter. And of course projects, and one of those projects, I'll show you a quick snippet now. Bought a few baskets, washing baskets to be precise. Although to you they're washing baskets, to me they are crab pots. Now these are going to be for lobster, you'll have to excuse the plane that's going over. That seems to happen every time I put the video on, a plane takes off or lands. So we've taken these there, I'm going to make these into lobster pots. We're not going to bother about crab because, to be honest, I'm literally catching 10, 20 brown crab a year in the last couple of years, which is horrific. So there's no actual point trying to fish for them anymore. Um, so we're going to go for lobster, solely. So the next will be smaller and we'll be testing these ones against these ones. So we'll be keeping a record of what we catch in the two sets of pots. Now, difference being is this one's narrower and taller, this one's flatter and wider. So we'll be using these. On top of that, if they work well, I mean the last one we did work well. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for that video. I'll also put a link at the end of one we did, was it last year I think it was, that we used. It was a smaller one than this, or well, these ones. Um, yeah, so we'll be testing these and seeing which one catches better. On top of that, if you go and buy one of these, it'll cost you about five quid for one of these. And a crab pot will cost you 70 quid, so mm, we'll see how we get on. We're going to use thinner rope, that'll keep costs down as well, because you don't need heavy ropes on such small pots. But that'll be for later, we'll cover all that, we'll cover the build and we will cover the the testing of it as well which will be obviously from the spring onwards right well right now it's going to be some footage from last summer and like i say that will keep we will be putting up footage from the summer because i've got quite a lot of it and trying to mix it in between shore fishing projects and anything else we come up with Coming down here, I'm gonna go out that way. I like it out there, big waves. And um, the thing is, a small tide, my pot is portioned like a slack water, even though it's high. So I thought I'd lift this one while we're passing it. But uh, it's for the spider crabs, which is kind of interesting. I'm gonna keep. I know somebody wants one. Probably one brown crab. And that one. So just keep that one there for the moment. I might throw that one back yet. See if we can get a bigger one.
the shanker. Not the giant, but it's big enough. Thank you. 